For nearly 30 years, Rupert Murdoch's been a power in the land. He's been courted by prime ministers. His newspapers have made and broken careers. They've even claimed to swing elections. But in little more than a week, all that has changed. And today, Britain's politicians are united in opposing him. We all want the same thing. We want press, police and politicians that serve the public. In the last few days, MPs have lost their fear of offending the Murdoch press. And today, the prime minister wanted to make it clear he felt the same. The people involved, whether they were directly responsible for wrongdoing, whether they sanctioned it or whether they covered it up, however high or low they go, they must not only be brought to justice, they must also have no future role in running a media company in our country. Ed Miliband has led the way in attacking Rupert Murdoch and he kept the pressure up today. If the House of Commons speaks with one voice today, and I hope he will still come to the debate, that Rupert Murdoch should drop his bid for B Sky B, should recognise the world has changed, and he should listen to this House of Commons. Yeah. This business has got to stop the business of mergers and get on with the business of cleaning its stables. Yeah. It all made for an uproarious session in the House of Commons. Order! Order! The House they seem to be baying for Murdoch blood. Little more than an hour later, Rupert Murdoch announced he was withdrawing his bid to buy the 60% of B Sky B he doesn't already own. The deal would have been worth billions, but today has convinced him, for now at least, it's hopeless. I think you could fairly say it's been a bad day at the office, probably a bad week at the office, probably a bad fortnight at the office, and I think it's going to be a bad year at the office because it's not going to get any better, this. However, has he given up on B Sky B in the long term? I doubt it. This all began with the hacking of Millie Dowler's phone. Today in Downing Street, the Prime Minister told her family about the judge-led inquiries that will now investigate the behaviour of the press. Afterwards, through their lawyer, they welcomed the end of the B Sky B bid. Enough is enough. This is too much press intrusion, too much power for, for one organisation, and people have to stop and listen. It's about the public, the other three Ps, the press, the police, and the politicians are giving way to the public. Not much more than a week ago, it seemed he would once again get his way. Today, he has discovered even his power has limits.